What's up heroes, it's your boy Winston here and in today's video we're going to be asking some industry professionals if they think you should go to art school. Now it's apropos if I start because I'm currently a full-time game development art student and I'm lucky enough to say that my school is really good and I have phenomenal instructors and an incredible group of students that I work with. That is not always the case for post-secondary schooling and I would say the biggest benefit to school is the community aspect and making those connections. But would I recommend you go to art school? My answer is going to be, it depends. You see, I'm learning things from not just character art, but environment art, prop art, narrative design, animations, UI, UX, level, uh, just a lot of different things in the game dev industry. And the same would be for art school, you have to learn a whole heap of different things that's not entirely related to what you might want. For example, if you know you want to be a character artist, then a specialized program like the Character Artist Accelerator is perfect because instead of spending eight hours a day learning a little bit of everything, you could spend all that time honing your craft in exactly what you know you want to do. But enough about me, let's hear the thoughts of some other people. Hey, Marlon here. So yeah, three reasons going to go for a traditional school versus more, more alternative and more modern school. So let's start obviously with the good part, the three, the three good reasons why I think going to alternative is, is a better um, a better choice. Um, I think the major point for me going to go for, for example, online school like our heroes and, and so on is for the updated content. One of the problems about traditional schools is that in most of the cases, in from even from what I experienced when when I was studying, is that I noticed that the content and what they are being, when they are teaching is quite outdated. And by the time you start working on the industry, you realize that things doesn't work that way. So that's one of the things that I kind of don't like about traditional school is that sometimes it's exactly that, it's old school. The other reason why I think it's, it's pretty good, like uh, going to a, to an online school, obviously is because of the networking. It's obvious that in both cases you have networking, but I feel like uh, in a, in a more modern school, especially in online environment and through all the social channels that we have, like Discord and this kind of stuff, you get to you get to bond better with your with your peers, right? So I think it's pretty good the fact that networking wise, you get you get you, you know like uh, your circle is just bigger than just this tiny classroom that you will be going through, right? Yeah, let, let, and I think that the last one obviously is about experience and time. One of the good reasons about going like a from from modern school like a, like our heroes in this case is that you start studying at your own pace. What I notice in traditional media, even 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 at school, like um, not everyone has the same level of understanding or not not every not everyone learn at the same speed right so i think it's very important the fact that all the students and including yourself are able to learn at the pace that you feel like is the adequate for you so that that's pretty cool the fact that it's more dynamic it's more stable in that sense and i think it's more doable at the end of the day right than you you know having like a three four year career where eventually such a little knowledge you are going to you know, need eventually in your career right so so yeah, I, th I think those are the three ones that uh, it feels like more correct to me. So let's talk about the cons now. About um, Right now I only can find like two major reasons why it can be difficult to um, pursue like a more alternative. Uh, one obviously is the financial investment about it. Depending on the school or depending on the program, sometimes it can be expensive. And uh, if you actually don't get to use it, it's, it's just money wasted. Which kind of leads me to the second part. Um, probably is the, the trickiest part when it comes about like um, about this type of academia, academia. Sorry, the second part is mostly about the fact that you have to push yourself. Now, normally in a more traditional environments, since you are physically there and since you have a more stable schedule and so on, uh, it's easier to go through the pace of the course or through pace every year, right? By also by having exams, exams by the end of the trimester or semester and this kind of stuff. So uh, in a more online environment, in a more like a modern uh, school, obviously you have to push yourself because eventually you are the one who, who, who actually is looking for that knowledge, right? So that's probably where, where I noticed that most of the, not most of the people, but uh, there, there are like some people that 
just struggling about finding time you know like uh also trying to find also that energy that courage to to kind of try it but yeah it's it's part of the it's part of life i mean uh, in, in my opinion it's, it's quite normal so yeah those are the two major like cons that i can see about uh, you know like um more like a modern uh, school. Hey everyone, Gio here. So the question is, uh, what are my thoughts on those looking for art school versus those looking for alternative ways to get into the industry? Really important uh, question and, and subject. Uh, I feel like for me to be able to answer it, I need to give a quick insight on my background and how I started in this industry. So like a lot of people uh, in my generation, you know, we saw Jurassic Park, uh, was inspired by it, wanted, wanted to work for ILM doing CG as, as a vocation. Um, that was definitely me. So what what were my options to get there? For me, the only only thing that mattered was to, to start working as soon as I could. And so I found this one year diploma, fast and cheap, that I took. The benefit of it was it allowed me access to the lab where I just chained myself 24 seven in front of a computer and um, disregarded a lot of the, the homeworks that the professors gave us uh, because I felt like they were very rudimentary and didn't offer a direct path to, to where I wanted to go as, as soon as I wanted to get there, essentially. A bit of arrogance in my youth, right? Uh, but I was very intense back then. In retrospect, uh, it was all about learning the software, you know, uh, t t taking that that course. And I think I could have gotten where I'm at now without getting going to school, but having just access to the software. But that's that's where I'm coming from. That's that's sort of the path that I took. And when we circle back to the question at hand here, if I find it justifiable to go to art school and pay as much as much money that students are paying right now, and then layered on top of that, the concern of where the industry's headed. You know, there's a lot of uncertainty, you know, to be honest, uncertainty and, and fear. I talk to a lot of students and people wanting to get into this industry and there's a lot of that going on. And I just don't feel that it makes sense to pay so much money for schooling when you have the alternative path of learning from the internet, essentially, right? Like uh, you have access to almost a limitless amount of information on anything you want to learn with regards to software or you know you want to learn from a masterful artist you know they're there sharing valuable knowledge for free or can offer cheap uh, mentorships and workshops that are so affordable compared again to um, spending as much as you would in, in multiple year uh, course or class um, but yeah so but again my perspective comes from um, the, the the more alternative path so I definitely am more inclined to 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 go that way you know in terms of uh, suggestion um, so yeah but again I don't want to discount any of the other benefits of, of the other side in terms of building connections and you know learning from from professors who are from the industry you know which was not my experience obviously but um yeah i guess in this day and age i think with so much resource available for us the alternative route feels a lot more um viable honestly so hopefully that made sense thank you hi my name is tanya and I studied industrial design back in Austria, um, which was great. It was a bit like art school and it prepared me very well for my work life. Um, I live in the UK now and um, if you study in the UK, you rake up, you know, 30,000 pounds of debt whilst studying. And um, I'm not quite sure if that's worth it, to be honest. Um, I tried to change my career a little bit in the last three years and I did loads of online courses to become more of a 3D artist and there are some very good ones out there but the best ones are the ones where you 
get feedback and you have um, you know kind of aims to to work towards and you you have little little milestones to complete because I have loads of courses I just downloaded and um, never looked at to be honest in terms of um, what course sets others apart you know art heroes is great because of the community um, you have this friendly group of people like-minded people everybody helps everybody the mentors are you know really brilliant at what they're doing and um, you know if you want to to dive into something like that I can really recommend it so yeah, good luck with your journey. Hi, my name is Alfredo Barangulo. I'm a 3D character artist, modeler, and recently a CFX artist. I've been working in the industry for around four to five years now. I've been working in publicity and animation, cinematic and 3D printing projects. And I'm here to talk about the controversial topic about going or not going to art school, pros and cons. So let's get started. I'm gonna talk about my own experience. So I did go to school. I studied animation and design engineering, so we it was, it was a four-year course. We got exposed to a broad range of disciplines from illustration to the animation, uh, 3D package, animation, um, texturing, modeling, rigging, a uh, little bit of uh, programming, post-production and game dev. I think that at the moment it was a really new career, so it had a, a some challenges in terms of their curriculum and I think some stuff could have been polished or up to date but I, I still understand that so there's the challenges of a, a new career. So in terms of my discipline, did it got influenced by going to school? Well yeah because I wanted to learn uh, to the animation and concept art and there I, I found out found out about modeling and then character modeling which was box modeling then and I didn't like it at the beginning but then on my own I found out about digital sculpting and ZBrush and I asked a couple of professionals, I, I, I saw some tutorials and I took some courses and from the help of, it, of, of my co-workers uh, I got to, to learn ZBrush and I still love uh, character modeling and character creation until now. Uh, about the opportunities that I may have had in, if I uh, didn't go to art school, well probably one of the opportunities that I have was learning programming. Maybe on my own I wouldn't have picked an interest but they taught us uh, C++, C Sharp and Java which I don't remember how to use now but it gave me the, the fundamentals about uh, programming and I'm learning Python now uh, with the help of some of my co-workers I, I, and it really helped me to, to use it even in my, in my professional career. Something else is probably my diploma it helped me to, to, to go to another country. It, it helped us approve to the embassy to, to say, hey, I, I do this and I'm going to do that in your country. So maybe that helped speed up the process. I'm sure that there's also probably other ways to go to a country, but I, I think that was really helpful in my situation. In terms of networking, while well, you're uh, surrounded by by a lot of artists that in the future are going to do and are, are doing now great things and also like being exposed to all the things that they like so you get to meet a lot of artists that you probably didn't get to know if you didn't go with them also you you meet your your instructors some of your instructors are professionals and you get to meet other professionals from the local industry or even if they're working like online you get to to, meet, to hear these names and like have a chance to talk with them i got the opportunity to meet a lot of uh, amazing artists in that way did our school prepare me for my career yeah but i still needed to do some things uh, in on my own like i still took some courses to to improve my my craft and to get better at what i wanted to do it gave me the fundamentals about all these broad different disciplines but also it gave me the the tools to to learn how to learn in an orderly way if you didn't go to art school there are also many ways that you can still learn there's a lot of courses and academies online uh, a lot of tutorials online there's a lot of resources that people are putting out there so in that way and by taking courses and on my own i i started to learn maya and blender and that kind of stuff. I did specialize. I, I took some on um, character modeling. One of them was uh, the Art Heroes one. I learned from my co workers. Uh, they gave me some like private lessons in terms of anatomy and uh, so much stuff. Like I, I've been doing so much stuff to try to, to improve myself in terms of networking. There's, there's uh, a lot of stuff. So in servers and groups and like Facebook groups or like in Reddit or that kind of stuff. Make a couple of friends and start to, to learn together. So you can still get this experience of, of being surrounded by other people that are trying to learn and having some quick answers so that's also like a, 
a pro about going to school, you are surrounded by your teachers and professionals or stuff that you can ask. Uh, you can also take mentorships and that kind of stuff. So there's many ways that you can still grow and learn as an artist. By learning by yourself, uh, there's a lot of freedom in terms of what you want to learn. Like if you want to learn that specific thing, you just go and learn that specific thing. And uh, when, when you're going to school, you have to, to take in all these different disciplines and you don't get a chance to, to actually like work on the stuff that you want. And yeah, I, I understand that there's not, not everyone can afford going to school uh, please if you're still deciding uh, take into consideration what are your needs uh, what what are the resources that you have and what's your situation and choose what's better for you I think there's there's not a single way to to learn how to be a, an artist or like a 3d artist yeah just be critical about the, the steps you're taking and if you if you want to go to school go on and ask someone that has gone to that school and ask for their opinion and, and their experience. Uh, so that's all for me and I hope this, this was helpful and insightful. My name is Brad Myers. I'm a lead character artist in video games and I've been working on AAA games since about 2008. Um, the question today is about what I recommend folks to go to school and just um, school in general between traditional ways and non-traditional. Um, I did go to a more traditional game design focused type school. Um, it was extremely expensive um, and then I ended up having to learn a lot of my own anyway. So for me, that school I wouldn't really recommend um, because at the end of the day, uh, no one's going to pay you because you have a degree. Like it's really about what you can produce. And so really it's just about trying to get there, um, get to that quality level any way you can. And the way that I see it, as far as getting there, there's like two main facets to digital media. I think there's the technical side of things and there's also the artistic side of things. The artistry side of things is, is probably one of the hardest parts. It's something that I think really takes a lifetime, something that you're always working on. So that's, that's just like a lifelong uh, struggle really, but um, it, everything's good when it comes to that. Um, it's really just about focusing more on the, um, the fundamentals, um, first and foremost, painting, sculpting, drawing, color theory, anatomy, whatever, just exposing yourself to the fundamentals is, is really the key there to becoming a really good artist. Um, in terms of the more technical side of things, I think like you just want to get through that as efficiently as possible. You can, you can really spend a lot of time in, in that realm um, because there's a lot of information out there that might not be super clear. So, so really when it comes to this between art, artistry and technical side of things, I just try to get there as fast as possible and sort of get the most bang for my buck. That's kind of like the, the key thing uh, is finding what works for you to, um, to get there. Because yeah, for me, having the traditional route wasn't really the best way to go. And, uh, and I found like personally that a more non-traditional um, avenues what worked best for me and a heck of a lot cheaper as well. So that's my two cents on it. Thanks. Bye.